This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness Ablaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatDownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. It's time for us to revisit ADP Zacian. Uh, once this got released in Sword and Shield thanks to Zacian itself, the deck was unstoppable, probably the best deck in the format and uh, had so much uh, tournament wins that it's unreal. With Rebel Clash the popularity dropped down a little bit and people tried Order Pad and all that but now now it's better than ever before because uh, the meta is better. Uh, everybody's running V maxes and all that, and we can actually punish opponents playing Crobat as well as the Denny. So uh, with Dark Asset, we draw cards until we have six in the hand. We can even, of course, use the Denny after that, and then even a research. So how Turbo is that? We are still relying on ADP using Ultra Creation Jacks, the most bonkers Jacks move ever. Uh, that means we uh, take an additional prize card for every knockout after using this attack, as well as they uh, dish out 30 extra damage to all of the uh, opponent's Pokemon if we attack. So, uh, to the opponent's active, I mean. So, let's say Zacian uses Brave Blade after Alter Creation. That's 260 damage right here. That's why we're also playing uh, Vitality Band because we can go through stuff like Cape of Toughness. Although, you could swap out the Vitality Band for a Tool Scrapper. I wouldn't be uh, mad if you did that. We also have Drolodon uh, in here because, of course, the Sigui is a tough matchup. This helps it out so much because of Ultra Creation GX. Power Beam actually saps uh, 140 damage. That means we can one-shot the Sigewise and we're at ease. We also have Mawal GX. We can, uh, the Captivating Wing can slap down the opponent's active, uh, the opponent's ba basic Pokemon in their hand when they least expect it. We slap it down, select some basic Pokemon, for instance, uh, the Dene, a Crobat, and uh, a weak Pokemon that we can knock out. And this list runs on boss doors to win the game. You could even add an Eldegos if you want and cut the Drolodon if you think that uh, Decidueye is not too popular. Uh, but I think Decidueye sh should be respected. It's just like Obstagoon. When you don't uh, respect it, you all the loss against it. So uh, we still have four copies of Zacian with Intrepid Sword. So crazy. Accelerating energies while drawing three cards is busted. We have a Zamazenta V, which is better than ever before. More VMAX archetypes are top tier. Think about Santa Scorch VMAX. Think about uh, Eternatus VMAX. Sam Zamazenta can stall out or just smack damage and the opponent needs to find Gust in order to uh, just hit us. That's why we still run Reset Stamp as well as a high count of Marnie. Putting the opponent to a low hand size while having Zamazenta in the active slot can punish a lot of VMAX decks. I also think Crushing Hammer is busted. I run four copies just to slow down Eternatus VMAX or uh, Mirror Mashes. So you can get rid of the water energy on ADP and that's gonna help us out. We do run Energy Switch so that means we can use Metal Saucer uh, on the Zacian then use Energy Switch to ADP and then Manual Water Energy and boom! Ultra crea uh, Creation Jacks in one turn. How crazy is that? So uh, not a lot of new cards for this archetype but the meta is way better for it. So that's what we're gonna try out. Energy Spinner also very good if you go second. Being able to get a lot of combo pieces you get your metal energy, you get your water energy, you can use a quick ball to get your Zacian, get the metal saucer, all the good stuff going around. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the content if you enjoyed this uh, post-rotation TCGO battle content. If uh, you uh, like that, be sure to let me know by, uh, yeah, letting know your, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, we're up against a person that's also uh, participated in the Player Cup, seeing at, uh, on his deck box, and we say Tails, never fails. It does fail. Don't worry about it too much. If you go second, we do have Crobat, we do have the Denon, we do have a research. So at one point, we will get our full stuff going. The only thing we need is an ADP, so we can uh, get our stuff going. So I think I will just quick ball away the um, Metal Energy. And then we can Crobat for six instantly. So that's gonna be bonkers uh, because although we have two Crushing Hammers, if one fails, we can do it again and go back and forth. Okay, this is looking like a Sent. Scourge V Max deck, so that's very nice to see that we're seeing some new decks in here. 
I wonder how this matchup will go. We do have the Zamazenta immediately in the active slot, which does help our matchup a little bit. Uh, this guy, even with the heat high, high Heat Blast, only slaps 110 damage. So uh, Zamazenta does survive that hit. I would be surprised if they would play Galarian Zigzagoon to finish the job, but you never know. And TCG... Oh, it's Cinderace V. Okay. Cinderace V. Interesting. Cinderace V Max. I thought this was Centiscorch. Where, where did things go wrong? Okay, this is a little bit scary. If there's a stadium card in play, it has free retreat, so it can slap uh, to the active position. We're gonna go with... Oh, okay, okay. look at that top deck. Boom. Get that out of here. We're gonna go for a classic Quick Ball. There we go. Gonna get rid of this energy. Probably should have gotten uh, rid of something else, but... Yeah, we get the research, right? So, we can even Intrepid Sword later. So, let's slap down ADP while we're at it. Zacian as well. The Vitality Band. I think I will... Vitality Band. Do we need it? 240. 240. I don't think so. Probably gonna just uh, attach the Vitality Band to... I don't think we'll need it in this matchup. Uh, so, I think I'm just gonna attach it over here. Now, we're gonna go for research. Come on. Get ourselves some goodies. Okay, Metal Saucer, that's good. That's already a start. We can slap down Kyrex well, so he cannot rely on the fire stuff. Cape, tough, toughness Cape is awesome. The Source is awesome. Metal Saucer, there, there we go. We could switch to the ADP already, but I don't think we're gonna get everything in this uh, scenario. So I'm just gonna go for Cherish Ball to Dene. And we can still use the, the Crobat afterwards. So let's see what we get. Come on, we get the water energy, we get the switch, we only miss one single puzzle piece. One single puzzle piece, come on. Crobat, are you here? Alright, Crobat, see you, come on, draw me some goodies. Attachment over here, <laughs> we could switch to the ADP, I'm probably not gonna be able to knock us out anyhow, so let's switch to that. And let's rely on Crobat V to draw us one of these fantastic energy switches. Or not, this could also happen. All right, if that is the case, um, we can saucer onto this guy. He could target it down though, so I'm gonna wait with that. Probably not gonna Marnie, right? We're gonna Cherish Ball, finding ourselves a well of all things. Thinning out the list a little bit, so our Intrepid Swords will go way crazier. Okay, let's go, Intrepid Sword! Okay, we do have one energy, another Zacian in the hand. No Ultra Creation, because we, we whiffed on Energy Switch, even though they were in the deck, it was possible to do it. The good news is, this guy is not weak to fire. Okay, there's the Welder going onto that Cinderace V. That counter will be pretty annoying. I uh, reckon that. Hopefully, he's still not gonna slap an attack onto us. That means we can at least use Ultimate Ray on the Cinderace V. Although, he could be running stuff like Hyper Potion. Which is annoying. So, the good news is, uh, if we knock out the VMAX... I wonder if we should go, like... We don't have bosses orders in hand. If we had, we could have knocked out the Cinderace V before it evolved. Switch to Jirachi. This is running Stellar Wish shenanigans, so there is a chance of him also running Galarian Zigzagoon and all that. We have Crushing Hammer. He already like Welder for one. So Cinderace V Max, not the most consistent deck out there. And we whiffed on our Ultra Creation Jacks. It would have been nice to showcase that. Look at all the cards we've drawn so far. Insane, right? This is insane. Crobat V, Dene, uh, two Zations are ready to attack. So on that department we're looking good. We can also like go uh, just knock out Jirachi and just knock out this guy. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Quick Ball, the Dene, or Crobat. Or another Jirachi. Either way, this is look Okay, Crobat, Crobat popping up in a lot of decks. Is this post-rotation? For now it looks like it is post-rotation. That's good. I like facing off against other post-rotation decks. Scoop up net to the vol- No, oh, nope. Cinderace V. Taking that as a champ. And Crobat V for six cards. I think the Cinderace V Max can already uh, attack for two energies, I think. Although, could be wrong. Codex well, getting rid of that giant heart for sure. And there's the reset stamp. Okay, well deserved reset stamp. The only thing we need is an energy switch. Uh, yo. Do have metal saucer and research though. Interesting. We can switch to Zacian and knock him out. But that's gonna take a little bit of an effort. Although with so many Pokemon in the back right now, like Crobat gives up three prize cards, Cinderace gives up three prize cards. 
I'm just fine uh, getting our stuff going. Okay, switching back to Jirachi. Another Stellar Wish. He scooped it up so he can use it again. Two bosses orders in the discard pile makes me at ease because he needs Welder as well as Welder. Oh yeah, he needs Welder and Boss Zorus, which cannot happen at the same time. Okay, Melolana. We need to one-shot. I know. Still no Cinderace VMAX in sight, which is awesome for us. Okay, Energy. No, okay, Energy Spinner. Well, that is the top deck we wanted. Metal Energy going for that ADP turn. Let's go. Okay, do we Metal Saucer on this guy or do we wait? I think so. We can just Metal Saucer on this guy and we're probably going to take an, get an Energy anyhow. Doesn't seem to have anything good going for him. I don't think we need to do anything. Although he's this, he does play Marnies, right? He does play Marnies, maybe. Mm, just maybe. He did play Reset Stamp. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Just use one Metal Saucer on this Zation right here. We do have Research and Marnie and all that good stuff. At this point, I'd rather use Research, but I think it doesn't... I don't want to Marnie him because he already doesn't have the uh, necessary Pokemon right there. Okay. Altered Creation GX. That means all of our Pokemon dish out 30 extra damage. And we just need to hunt for bosses orders today. Alright. Maybe we should have gone with our research. So we would have drawn into uh, the bosses orders. Probably should have done that. Now that I think about it, I should have done that. Okay, he does have Mellow Lana. Let's say you slap 230, 260 damage with Mellow Lana. That's going to be 260 minus 120. Still 140. He still needs stuff like Mac, um, Great Potion. Ah, no, the uh, Hyper Potion, yeah. Here comes Cinderace. Okay. Probably good. We, we probably will survive that hit, to be honest. Look at our tanking capabilities. This guy only slaps. Yeah, he can use counter. That's what I thought. 30 damage. 170 and burn. Could be the case. Yeah, we can also swap to Zamazenta V, by the way. Zamazenta V. Yeah, he can also burn us, which is pretty annoying. Still have energy switches left. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Zamazenta V is pretty good right now since all of his bosses orders are going down the drain. But this guy, he still keeps this guy alive because of the Zamazenta V threat. So I would rather want it that way so we can boss his orders later. Okay. I wonder how this will go. One Pokemon, if if one goes down, we can Oranguru. If not, we still need to get this Jirachi out of the active position as well. Two switches and scoop up net going down the drain. Two energies thanks to the giant heart, which also lets us like, look into our deck. The scary thing is that this guy is ready to attack. Okay, switch. Here comes Cinderace V Max. Okay, we don't care about that at all. Oh no! Yo, we got healed from the burn. That's how ADP rocks. Okay. Marnie! Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of Azation. Probably not gonna be needing another one. We have Marwell and Drillodon. Don't think I'll need this little fella. I do need the boss's order, so let's go with that. Alright. Research time. Bam. Come on. Okay, here is an energy. There's even crushing hammers and all that. Okay, attachment over here. We're gonna use an energy spinner while we're at it. Oh yeah, probably should have saved those metal energies while while I think about it. Ah, it's my bad. It's my bad. It's fine. Crushing hammer! Hey! Okay, it fails. Let's just go for... Yeah, Ultimate Ray is not going to matter too much in this scenario. Should have actually kept those in the deck. Ripperoni. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, one Water Energy. Where are we going to attach that? Yeah, I did things uh, completely wrong. Okay, it's fine. We're going to attach him to Zamazenta. Zamazenta could be a threat. You never know. Attach, Saucer, go! And then he's going to be in so much trouble. Okay, 190. He could heal with Melolana. Oh, Melolana's in the discard pile. His bench is full. He could scoop up and then LD goes. Yeah. Okay, energy there. If he uh, knocks out our attack team, we use Reset Stamp instantly. And then go on the offensive. We do have the cape, Toughness Cape. Okay, cool. The Fire deck is going crazy. Okay, sure. We knock you out with Zacian, and then this is our uh, backup attacker. 160 is enough to knock up the Dene. Although, yeah, resistance. I know. I know, right? Okay. Cool. Attachment. Over here. 
Uh, yeah, we knocked this guy out for sure. We have boss's orders. Yeah, reset stamp, that's pretty obvious. We still have more boss's orders left, right? We can Marnie safely. But that reset stamp would have been not valuable at this stage. We knock this guy out, he has three cards, probably gonna welder onto us, but then we need every single thing. But we get four prize cards, right? Four prize cards and having uh, the boss's orders, I think that's fine. Bravely, good job. Get out of here, Cinder Race. We got four prize cards for you. So the only thing we will need is... Oh, did any? Well, that's much appreciated. Another ADP, what? Marnie? What the hell is this Marnie doing here? Zation, okay. Probably, we'll see some sort of like a reset stamp. I think now is the time. We do have the Danny still in the deck, which puts me at ease. So four prize cards, ADP Madness. Oh yeah, we still have energy switches, right? Yeah, we can energy switch this energy to this guy attached here and we should be fine, right? We have boss's orders. Yeah, it should be okay. I'm fine with this scenario. Unless he has uh, a reset stamp in those. Yeah, in his hand, we're done for, but for now, it's fine. It's in the race, Crimson Leg. He doesn't dare to evolve it because Zem and Zentavi is waiting in the back. He still has 21 cards left in his deck, though. Maybe he's playing a third copy of Boss or, or a Corio. Hello. Hello, uh, giving up three prize cards, but drawing lots of cards. Here he goes Dance of the Tribute. As I can tell right now, lots of decks are still playing the Denny. So playing a copy of Power Plant, uh, sneaking into your list could be kind of fun. All right, one hammer left. If he doesn't evolve, or if he actually if he max this guy, we win. Even if he V max, we have boss door. So he needs to V max and use something like reset stamp. Okay, welder. He needs to find his reset stamp ASAP. Otherwise, we win. The good news is Zamazanta's max 160, so uh, things like Jirachi give up two prize cards. This guy also gives up two prize cards, so even if with two scoop up nets, probably not gonna do that, right? What are you gonna do, opponent? Okay, Crimson Lag taking quick work of our Zayshan. Okay, in this scenario, we promote this for sure. We attach here, or we attach there. See what we still have left to work with. Quick ball, let's get rid of this. My while. Okay, we have energy switch, three of them in there. Insane. Three energy switches. So what do we do? We use this. We use the boss's orders on the target I selected right here, the Volcanion, and then, yeah. Let's go, the Dene. Three copies. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Here are the energy switches on the bottom of the deck. Of course. Energy switch. This energy goes there. Well played, sir. Here comes an assault tackle from a Zamazenta V. Good sir. Okay, now we uh, utilized everything. We used ADP. We used Zation. We used Zamazenta. It's fine. Okay, we're going to be playing one more game with the updated ADP Zation. Yeah, let me know how you feel about this list. Do you think it has a better meta spot uh, right now? Lots of VMAXs everywhere. Zamazenta shining like ever before. All right. Hopefully we come across Santa Scorch or Eternatus. I know a lot of people are trying to get their hands on uh, those specific archetypes. Those cards are really hard to get your hands on because everybody wants them. Want to be playing with the new stuff. Come on. What do we see? We're looking for an opponent. Hello, opponent. You're here? Oh, Dragon Metal. Okay, time for some mirror action. Mirror match. Mirror match uh, all depends on who gets Ultra Creation GX off first. Or who has the Tool Scrapper and who doesn't. I'm gonna go first, hoping that the opponent doesn't get the Energy Switch combo. Okay, this is fine. We can even use Mawal on the first turn. Maybe we can have some luck with that. That could be cool, right? I don't know if he's playing hammers or not. Okay, ADP. We have a hammer of our own. Let's see here. My wild, come on, the Dennis. It's a Zation. Dang it. Yeah, he's probably he would have been able to. He's probably gonna use the Intrepid Sword anyhow. Sure. 
yeah, that's it. That's it for me. That's all I have. Attachment, Intrepid Sword, we Crushing Hammer, we Research. Okay, he has the Water Energy. Okay, that's what we thought. Intrepid Sword, he even gets an Energy. Bust it. Nothing we can handle. Okay, another Research. Let's get rid of that Energy. Or not. Uh, Vitality Band, might as well equip it over here. Otherwise, it's pretty useless. Let's go, Research! Energy Spinner, let's go. Water Chipe Energy. We don't have the Intrepid Sword Luxury. We're gonna quick ball away this. And I think I will go for a Dedenne instead. Although Dedenne do get, does give up lots of prize cards, right? We already have a research. Maybe we hang on to that Dedenne for now. Yeah, hang on to that Dedenne for now. This and that. And here you go, Altered Creation GX. We did it first, fellas. If we were able to slap damage onto this guy, we get four prize cards for this, and that's gonna help us out a lot. That means he can no longer slap down like two prizers. Hopefully we find the toughness cape in time. That means our station is safe from damage. That's gonna help us out a lot. Okay, energy to the ADP. Altered Creation GX as well. Okay, mirror match party. We were first though. Energy here. And then a, a hammer. Okay, what are we gonna get rid of? Uh, water type energy. Thank you. And then... Yeah, he could attack with this guy, but this guy could not knock us out anyhow. Research time! Poof. Okay, we have lots of stuff. Switches. He could Marnie us at one point. We can the Dene, But that gets rid of this fella. Yeah, it's fine. We can just ultimate ray and get... Uh, let's slap down another Zation while we're at it. Uh, cherish ball so we don't draw into stuff. Take that. And here comes Ultimate Ray. Bam! And that's very, very awesome because we get three metal type energies instantly on a Zation. The only thing we need to do is uh, put a Cape of Toughness on here and we should be fine. I'm actually going to divide it over. He could knock us out and attachment bosses, orders, and all that. I'm going to divide him. We do have attachment and saucer, so it's fine. And even energy switch, so they're divided. It's it's better this way. Turbo patch active. Okay, he runs turbo patches. Interesting. Well, this turbo patch attach. Oh boy, energy switch. Okay. He's running the turbo patch list. Yeah, yeah a little bit clunkier. Okay, taking down the Mawal. Oh boy. Taking down the Mawal here. Okay, that Mawal was not the brightest idea. For sure. Okay, this guy still needs just uh, a boss's orders. Ah, this is scary. We're gonna probably Marty M or reset stampin or whatever. Okay, what to do? We knock this guy out for sure. Maybe we did Danny and boss's orders this guy, so we win. We can still manually retreat, so that's also awesome. Okay, we attach here. We energy spinner. Put two metal. I uh, put a metal here. We're not gonna Marnie just yet. I actually want to find... Yeah, I really want to find a boss's orders right now. Let's go! Whee! Okay, Cape of Toughness going right here. Cherish Ball. Nothing. Okay, this is not gonna help. <laughs> this is scary! Quick Ball. This is really scary. Come on, man. We need a crowbat, and the crowbat is priced. No, or a supporter. Come on, Marnie. Well, yeah, I'll take the Marnie for now. Yeah, Marnie. We. Oh, now here's the boss's orders we needed. Okay, saucer. Another saucer. So we have two of them ready and prepped. And let's go. Ultimate Ray. Shazam. Four prize cards. The opponent just needs one copy of the boss's orders in order to win the game. Is that well played? Does he have boss's orders in hand? Does he have boss's orders in hand? Our my wild play did not work out. I was hoping he was having a crowbat. Also should not have been in the prize card. It would have been way better. It is what it is in these mirror matches. Yeah. Liabilities like my wild. Eldigos. Well played. The Eldigos is legit. 
might as well add it into your list if you're playing this so uh, maybe cut down on one crushing hammer you have a good deck man you have a good deck so our liability was the mawel in the early phases of the game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of adpization it's still as busted as ever try it out for yourself if you enjoyed the video be sure to most like button subscribe for more content and i will be seeing you guys in the next uh, video very very shortly peace out Thank you.